Map projections are an important step in the map making process. This presentation illustrates how the ArcGIS Pro Distance Measurement tool can be used to determine the amount of map distortion using the UTM coordinate system as an example. A map projection transforms locations of a spherical Earth model, the so-called reference surface, into a two-dimensional map with X and Y or Easting and Northing coordinates. Through the projection, each point in the map corresponds to a point on the reference surface, as shown here for point P as an example. Whenever the spherical reference surface is transformed to a plane, some geometrical relationships of the sphere are distorted, as shown in this illustration. One example is the 90 degree angle between parallels and meridians that holds on the globe, but gets distorted through many map projections, which causes the sharing of angles. This is illustrated on the grid of meridians and parallels portrayed in the graticule to the lower right. The major distortions caused by map projections relate to angles, areas, distances and directions. Map accuracy is closely related to map distortion, since it helps to quantify the effect of map distortion at a given point and in different directions. The map accuracy can be found by comparing the length of a line on the reference globe with the length of that line measured on the map. The equation shown here takes the absolute difference between a reference distance on the Earth model, such as the ellipsoid, and the measured map distance. The accuracy is then expressed as this difference over the reference distance. The equation results in a decimal number, which is typically converted to a ratio with 1 in the denominator for easier interpretation, such as 1 over 2500. The larger n and the smaller the ratio, the higher the map accuracy and the smaller the distortion at that point of interest in the measured direction. ArcGIS Pro provides different distance measure options, two of which can be used for the purpose of determining map accuracy. The first one is labeled geodesic and measures the shortest distance between any two points on the Earth's model surface, such as the ellipsoid. This represents the reference distance. The second distance is the map distance, which measures the distance between two points on a projected coordinate system. If no projected coordinate system, but a geographic coordinate system is chosen for the map instead, then this distance option will be grayed out. The proposed method of map accuracy assessment can be applied for any map projection. This video will use the UTM coordinate system as an example to showcase this approach. Due to excessive map distortions that occur when mapping the entire world at once, various systems have been developed that subdivide the world into smaller zones or grids where each zone employs its own map projection, which reduces map distortions. One example of such a grid system is the UTM grid system, where the area of the world between 84 degrees north and 80 degrees south is subdivided into 60 zones. In the UTM grid system, zones are numbered 1 to 60 from west to east, with each zone covering 6 degrees in longitude. The UTM grid system uses for each of its 60 zones a transverse Mercator projection that can map a region of large north-south extent with only low distortion. The figure to the left shows the principle of the transverse Mercator projection which uses a cylinder that is horizontally oriented relative to the Earth. This projection is often used in a second case so that the cylinder intersects the reference Earth ellipsoid along two small circles parallel to the central meridian. Also, in the UTM system, each zone has a central meridian which extends north-south along the middle of the zone. The right figure shows on the top the cross-section of a UTM zone at a given latitude with the mapping plane and the reference ellipsoid. The grid below illustrates the mapping of selected grid lines within a UTM zone. More specifically, the two small circles appear as straight lines B and D which are placed 180 km east and west of the central meridian of the UTM zone. These two lines, B and D, have a scale factor of 1. This means that a distance of 100 meters on the ellipsoid would be correctly read as 100 meters on the map. Line C represents the projected central meridian. Along the center line of each UTM grid zone, the scale factor is 0 0.9996. This means that the local scale along the map center is smaller than the reference scale and that distances in the map are contracted compared to measurements on the reference ellipsoid. A distance of 100 meters on the ellipsoid would be measured as 99.96 meters on the map. 
these distortions can be verified in ArcGIS Pro for different directions. For this exercise we use two groups of points located in UTM Soon 17. The western group of points is located on or very close to the central meridian of UTM Soon 17, which is at 81 degrees longitude west. The second group of points is located 1 degree or about 87 kilometers east of the central meridian. To determine the map accuracy in different directions, we measure the north-south and east-west distance in each point group between corresponding point pairs, which are 0.02 degrees apart in north, south and east-west direction. Actually, each distance is measured twice, namely once on the map and once on the reference surface model. Based on this, the map accuracy for the given point pair can be determined. The set of eight analyzed points can, for example, be stored in an Excel table and then be loaded into an ArcGIS Pro project for distance measurements. The first step in ArcGIS Pro is to import the point data to the map. Opening the table shows us the coordinates for the two point groups consisting of four points each. What we can see here is that this map uses a geographic coordinate system without a projection. So if we want to use the measure tool for distances, we see that the planner option is grayed out, so we cannot measure a map distance. Nevertheless, we can get the points located based on the latitude and longitude values and add point labels. I prepared here a map that already uses the UTM coordinate system for Zoom 17. We can copy and paste the point layer. I will start here with the western point group. Before measuring we must ensure that point snapping is turned on and we can start with measuring the north-south distance between those two points and enter those numbers then into an Excel sheet. So I'll start with measuring the first distance here relates to the planar distance and that's the result. This distance is shown to the nearest centimeter. To increase the precision of the readout one can go to the project options and change here the rounding to let's say four decimal places. So we see the updated result and this can be copied and pasted into an Excel sheet starting with the map distance. This group of cells here relates to the western point group. This is for the north-south distance and this is for the east-west distance. Excel already implements the equations shown before for the accuracy computations. So the next step is to measure for that same point pair the reference distance which is under geodesic. This can be paste it into Excel and this gives us the first map accuracy value of 1 over 2500 for the north-south direction on the central meridian. The same process can be repeated for the east-west point pair starting with the planar distance and this is repeated for the reference distance. So in both directions the accuracy is 1 over 2500 also, we can see that the distortion is the same in both directions. And this is because the transverse Mercator projection that comes with the UTM grid system is a so-called conformal map projection, which means that the distortion is the same in each direction at a given point and that shapes are preserved in small areas. Next, we move over to the point group to the east and repeat the same process. The same set of equations is applied and it shows that we have an accuracy of 1 over 3250. The distortion is the same in both directions. Also we see that the accuracy at the eastern point group is higher or the distortion is lower than for the points on the central meridian. This short presentation demonstrated how to determine the map accuracy in different directions at different point locations in the UTM grid system.